So what engine do you use and what language is that game written in? Those are two questions that most developers will frequently get asked after they release a game. And today I plan to answer them. So I used to think the question was a bit silly. It doesn't matter in which engine or what language you write your game. It's the end result that counts and uh, no engine will create the same type of game just because it's that kind of engine. But after starting these YouTube videos, I've been uh, checking out a lot of other uh, YouTubers and I also wanted to know what were they using? Why were their pictures more sharper? Why were, what were they doing with their lights? Uh, what kind of editing software did they use? So I do understand the question now a little bit more. And um, although I still think it doesn't matter which engine you use or what language you write your game in, I decided to just uh, give a little video about uh, my process, what engine do I use, what language and uh, in what do I create my pixel art. So um, let's go! Okay, so what language do I use? Um, I use Java and the main reason for me using Java is very simple. Uh, when I started creating games back in 2004 for mobile phones, uh, the only option was using Java. There were no smartphones, there was no iPhone or Android, um, so uh, the only games running on mobile phones were written in Java. Um, luckily for me, when Android hit the market, it was also based on Java, so I could just continue using it and that's really the reason I'm still using it today. With a little exception that for iPhone you can't run Java games, at least not a few years ago. Um, so I had to learn Object C to port my Java games over to Object C. That's so basically translating from English to Dutch. It's, it's one language to another. Um, and um, luckily that did change a few years ago when there was another solution um, which will bring us to uh, the game engine I'm using these days. I used to always use my own um, engine. It wasn't really an engine, it was more uh, just the basics of building a game. Um, but I also wanted to develop games for a PC and um, where possible other platforms and libgdx was uh, capable of doing that and also had an option to use my java code and run it on iphone so uh, i didn't have to port it anymore and it was much easier to just maintain one version of the game the main thing i use from it is that it can uh, build my games for various platforms at once but it has a lot of extra options if you are looking into an engine and you want to use java it's a, it's one of the best solutions for you out there so do have a look at it. And for those who have watched previous videos, you probably already know what I'm using to create my pixel art. Um, it's GIMP. It's a free uh, paint program. Um, it used to get a lot of negativity because the interface wasn't really user friendly. It had all these floating windows all over your screen. Uh, but they changed that a few versions back. You can now just create one good and clean interface with it. Um, it can do a lot more than just pixel art. It can do, uh, I also use it for all my marketing materials, so check it out. So those are the most important tools I use uh, on a daily basis. So again, um, it doesn't matter what engine you use or what language. Um, Unity, Game Maker, Unreal, uh, the Godot engine, those are all great capable engines. LibGDX is a great one. It all depends on what you want to create. Uh, the only thing I can recommend is that you pick a tool and you really stick to it because you need to learn what the tool can do, what it's capable of and how to push its limits. That's really when creativity will start to uh, become much better for you. Uh, pushing against limits is really um, where it can shine, where your game can become better and where you will become a better game developer. And that's it for this week guys. Um, you might have noticed I'm still changing the look of the videos, uh, new little intro, uh, the lighting in here has changed a bit because the last video was a bit messy. I recorded during different hours of the day, so there was more sun in some of the shots uh, causing the whole setting to look different from scene to scene. Um, still learning, still learning. So for now, this is it. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. 
Um, also, if you got any ideas for videos, if you want to see specific things or got questions, um, just drop some comments below. Um, it, maybe I can do something with it in the next videos. I still plan to do one every week, so I got like 50 weeks to go. No, a little less, but still a lot of weeks. So, um, see you next time. Bye.